Hey everyone. So before we start this next video, we want to share something really cool that's happened to us in the last week or so. Kind of a big milestone for Morse's Go Mobile, which is we finally hit. Hey, we're the Morse's and we're going mobile. We're moving out of this house in the burbs and we're going to start taking the back roads in our new RV. Life is a little interesting packing all six of us inside here, but we are ready for the challenge we finally hit 1,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I mean, because we didn't necessarily think this would ever happen. It wasn't the plan um, when we started the channel, right? It was more just right. for our friends and family just to follow along. And then, like, as Cohen would say, all of a sudden, he says that all the time, <laughs> yeah. all, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, just all these subscribes started coming in and then all these comments. And it's just been so cool to, to see all these people on the other side of, of kind of YouTube, right? Right, and it's like really encouraged us along the way. There's been some really sweet messages that people have sent us just Profound, to encourage us. like that have really struck our soul in a good yeah. way. Yeah, really encouraged us. I reached out to four of what I would call like, I don't know, like our, our, our most faithful viewers or subscribers. Um, and just, just by how we see them on comments, you know, these are the people that, we, that are always commenting. We know they watch every single video. Um, they, they hit us up on social media. We know there are countless more of you that do that and support and love us, but these guys are just, they've showed us a ton of love. And so we want to give them a shout out and show a picture of them because I don't know about you, but for us, it's just it's really, really helpful to see their faces. Yeah, it just makes it feel like someone else is on the other side of that like upload button. Who's our first one? So our first one is Margaret from Austin, Texas. Margaret, now hold it here, quick story about Margaret. Margaret, and it's going to get loud because there's a UPS trucker coming by, but that's real life and we're gonna wait but margaret um she wins the award for the quickest binge watch of every video margaret you watched all our videos in like two days and the reason we know that is because she commented on every one of them all of a sudden everything started blowing up like margaret 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 that was a huge morse binge and thank you for that the next one's teresa uh, yeah. she goes by t and where's she at she's in southern california southern california shout out to you teresa thanks for watching and then so the next couple that we want to give a shout out to is the caves uh rick and brenda and you know That's what's kind of cool. cool about this is that rick was one of my youth pastors in high school high school or middle school anyways long time ago <laughs> a long time ago but shout out to you rick uh thanks for the love man we love you guys and then we've got les from carlsbad california les you're awesome she's always watching she's like sometimes one of the first ones to get on and watch and so we're thankful for you and just the love that you've shown and yeah there's just been a lot more of you too so we don't want to leave anyone out our family have been obviously big supporters but we're not going to shout them out because they're our family and they're supposed to watch they love us they're supposed to love us Well, I've said it before in one of our videos that one of the coolest things about just this travel life that we're doing is just the other people that we come across, the people that we meet um, and the families that we meet. In this case, uh, we met this family, Keith and Heather and Aspen and Taylor, and you may remember them um, from our jet surfing episode um, when we were in the Florida Keys. That's where we met them. And I just got a text from Keith last week um, and he said, hey, Brandon, we're coming back down to Florida. We're going to actually be coming to the Keys. Uh, but we're going to stop and see you guys for, for about four days. And so they're on their way down right now. They actually get here tonight and we're pumped. And if you remember at the very end of that episode, if you remember what I said, I remember what I said specifically because I meant it. And I said, so Keith, I have to tell you that no matter where you go, no matter where you are, I will find you and I will ride your jet surfer once again. Luckily, I didn't have to go find him. He's coming to find me and he's bringing the jet surfer. So am I pumped jet about that? Surfer. Maybe just a little bit. What, Co? Also, Daddy's riding another jet surfer. What's that kid talking about? Um, but anyway, so they're coming tonight and we've got some plans going on uh, from now until tonight when they get here. We're super excited for them to come and we're gonna have the camera with us while they're here. What are we doing today? We are, does it look like so delicious? Let me see, bring it in close. Yeah, we've got them all hungry now that they've been watching our foodie episodes. I know, it's uh, Trader Joe's <laughs> gluten-free everything bagel. And then... Babe, you look cute today with that little thing on, whatever that is. Are you saying that because I normally don't look very cute? <laughs> no comment. You're, be um, you're beautiful. <laughs> with everything but the bagel Greek yogurt dip. Yum. Mm. Okay, so why are you making us lunches right now? Uh, because we have another family from Idaho that are... Yay! 
in Florida. And they're going to drive an hour and a half to meet us at the beach. And uh, that's what's been so fun about being in Florida is that so many people are coming here just to vacation with their families. And then we get to meet them along the way, which is awesome. So we're excited about that. So excited about that. So excited Stop. about that. We can't wait! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Not Mom, on YouTube. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What, Britt? We can't What's wait. wrong with her? What just happened? She A burst of energy. I'm like, and now she's Okay, hold up. I just have to say I'm so excited that you guys finally get to see the real Amber Morse. I'm going to pull in a couple clips from the past just to help you understand a little bit more about who Amber is. There's no need to thank me for that. It was absolutely my pleasure. And if you want to see more Amber dance videos, let me know in the comments. Okay, let's get back to current Amber. We can't wait to meet you at the beach. It's our favorite beach. It's called Honeymoon Island. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It's the white! <laughs> What's the uh, fur? The fur? The fur. You want to touch it? It's no. a furry little microphone. <laughs> it's called a dead cat. Oh man. Oh, is that, is that like a Florida thing? <laughs> it's, uh, it's really nice having the whites here because they have more kids than us. <laughs> so we don't feel like we're the people that everybody's looking at with four kids because they have how many kids? Well, we only brought five. But how many do you have? We have seven. Seven kids. They brought five. <laughs> So when you have seven, you can kind of pick and choose who gets We're to go places light. with you. <laughs> so guys, yeah, your baby running. is starving. Why don't you feed this thing? <laughs> feed your baby. Look at it, poor thing. There's no meat on this. Oh my gosh. You would look at this and you would think, oh, they're just out in the water refreshing. But what do you think they're out in the water doing? Like, let's ask them. Let me just ask them real quick. Hey, Amber, why are you out in the water? You what? No, but why were you only waist deep? Why didn't you go out just a little? The dolphins like it. Though. The right? dolphins. Yeah. That's... yeah. <laughs> how moms go pee. Come on. What? What? <laughs> how moms go pee. Yeah, this is how moms go pee. If you see moms just meander out in the water, but don't really get wet. It's not just moms. It's dads too. No, dads go full in. Oh. I got peace in my mind. I got peace yeah. in my mind. had a successful beach day and now we're moving on to phase two of today yeah. which is the bruges which is our friends they're coming are and this is their spot right here so they should be here really any minute and we're kind of excited we're just one wheeling around waiting so yep <laughs> can't wait for some other one wheelers because everyone stares at us and someone like your me. age yeah <laughs> this is the twins waiting for their friends to join them i've been sitting here for the past five minutes yep sitting here. they're excited guys i found them I think I found them. Here they are. We're gonna go cut them off at the pass here. I'm on one wheel. Okay, you guys follow me. You come this way. How are we doing? <laughs> we pride ourselves in great customer service. 
And we always meet our customers at the road where we bring them on in, we bring them on into their camp spot. Sir, here at Holiday Travel Park, we pride ourselves on customer service and we always greet you with your, uh, whatever your thing is there. Oh, your registration. You. And also we, we take you to your spot. So, so this is my first time. <laughs> Do you have a pooper shoot video you might want to share with me, sir? You got cars behind. Bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, it. Wow. Back in Florida. Hey. hey. How are you? <laughs> I can't believe hey, you guys buddy. are actually here. Oh. <laughs> the kids were sure that we were going to have to stop in Colorado somewhere. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Dad, y'all be scared. Well, this was the beginning of a super fun couple of days. It was just a blast having some familiar faces around and friends to hang out with. And the kids were in absolute heaven just having other kids to play with. I had a kid to play with too, except he's older and he's kind of going bald. But there's no doubt about it. Keith takes fun to the next level. I'm a rule follower, so I put my one wheel in the car and we go to Home Depot. But then there's this guy. <laughs> he says, it says no skateboards. It doesn't say no one wheels. Of course, there was just one more thing we had to do while he was here. And I crashed. Sorry, I couldn't get that on footage because I, uh, I was busy crashing. So hopefully you can still hear me. I'm almost to the board. This is what my hat stayed on. That's cool. Jaden, are you sad that uh, the Bruches are leaving today? Yeah, I am sad. Because they pretty much made your spring break. Yeah, Epic. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We really did. What was the best thing about it? Um, I mean like I mean hanging out. Jet surf. No, I mean, hanging, hanging out, out with them. Hanging out with them, but jet surfing. <laughs> no, guys, don't do it. Why are you doing this? Huh? Aspen, I'm talking to you, Aspen. Why are you leaving us? Do you actually want to? Even if it means going to the Keys? Just a courtesy, uh, letting you know your bathroom vents open. Oh, thank you. Up high, it's like way up high. I mean, I know they're made to travel that way, but I don't usually do that. Well, Brandon gets to voice over beautiful B-roll shots, and he gives me our laundry going around in circles. And I'm trying not to be distracted by the fact that he mixed whites and darks. Anyways. Finding community while you're on the road isn't easy, and that makes saying goodbye to the friends you make along the way literally the worst. But little did we know that the next friends we would meet were in the RV right next to the Barouches spot. What's funny about this is that we met the Barouches because Hudson saw their one wheels and had to try one. And our relationship with this next family, the Lennons, started the same way. But this time, it was because of either. our one wheels. And this time, Jaden finally met some teenagers. Now, we only got to spend two days with them, but over the course of the time that we did have, it felt like we did life together. They introduced our kids to authentic ramen. It is incredible. I love it. And they cooked an entire Korean meal that we shared together in the clubhouse. So good. Dude, you have to pour in this. This is AJ, our chef. She's our chef, our Korean chef. <laughs> so good. The kids watched a movie in their RV and we had some adult hangout time in ours and maybe some Korean wine. All this to say, we had to say another goodbye, but we are so looking forward to the potential of meeting up again in the future. As we said before, one of the biggest challenges... One of the biggest challenges is that it's windy right now and there's a fountain back there and it's totally blowing nasty pond water on us. Right. But you do anything for a good shot. And... <laughs> and... We didn't test the audio, so if it's a little windy, please forgive us. But anyway. One of the biggest challenges was finding community, and it's something you 
sometimes have to work really hard for. But as you just saw, we've just been really blessed, I feel like, just to meet some really incredible people. And I think the encouragement to, for us that we've learned and I hopefully encourages you, whether you're RVing or you're just not, uh, I think it can be often hard to meet people. Um, but you just have to get out, like go out the door, go out your RV door, be intentional, um, and don't be afraid to meet, some, meet someone because I think that we've made some lifelong friends kind of just getting out of our shell. Yeah, and something I think is super cool is that in this kind of travel RV lifestyle is that, you know, the families that we've met along the way, there's lots of differences between our families. But what's super cool is that there's this commonality of that we're all trying to do something different. We're all trying to adventure, teach our kids kind of a simpler way of life right now. Yeah. And it kind of like brings you together. Like you, you know that you have this like common uh, similarity and it kind of bonds you together right away. And, yeah. maybe, and maybe we're so starved for community that sometimes <laughs> it's like we, we see people with, with kids and it's automatically like, you gotta be our friends. Yeah, it's like, oh, you have a felony? We don't care. We're, <laughs> we'll hang out with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is and I do want to say one final thing and uh, subject change and it might you know I'm gonna try not to sound cheesy with it and I'll take my sunglasses off in order to say it right but I want to publicly thank my wife for just the hard work of being a travel nurse she's just about done with her assignment and I know that it hasn't been easy um, but I don't think there, there's a more incredible way that you could have served your family this year because um, it's enabling us to do this whole thing. Yeah. So, well, gosh. I want you to know I love you, and I want them <laughs> to know I love you, and I'm thankful for you. And I'm so ready not to be mom dad anymore. <laughs> it's this running joke in the RV park where we've got some a couple ladies, and they don't say Brandon anymore. They just call him mom dad. They call me mom dad. But thanks, thanks, babe, for that. And um, not to be cheesy either but I have to say that kind of this role reversal that's happened where you're responsible for homeschooling the kids and doing the laundry and getting food on the table and meal planning and activities and uh, it's been super cool to see you rise to that challenge and not not just survive but you've been amazing yeah. and I love well not you. yeah I'm agreeing with you yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're amazing and oh, you. I love you even that much more of seeing a totally different side of you just being really intentional with our kids. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Cheesy, but I love you. <laughs> um, well, hopefully you guys, you stick around. Um, next week we have another video coming out and we're, we're sitting down the kids and we're doing, doing like a kids tell all. Um, and I, we're kind of excited about it because we're going to kind of, it's going to be unfiltered and we're going to let our kids share. And we actually filmed Jaden with already um, the two friends that she had met that you guys already saw in the video, KC and Kayla. And we thought it'd be cool just to hear like, what's it like as teenagers? What do they really think about this travel lifestyle? So come back next week, look for that next video and uh, we'll see you there. And thanks for all your support. Yeah. But don't forget to subscribe, like, like, and hit that notification bell. Ding, ding. Share, and I gotta get, like literally all I smell is disgusting pond water. <laughs> <laughs> Alligator poop. And <laughs>